Hey guys, I'm Jared Bronstein and I want to know, do you guys think chimpanzees should have human rights? Also be sure to stick around until the end of the video for some comments and a very important announcement. In just a few days, animal rights lawyer Stephen Wise is going to be taken in his case to the Supreme Court in New York to argue that two chimps, known as Kiko and Tommy, should be considered persons and not just things. Things that are also considered non-humans that have personhood rights include ships and corporations. I mean, I think a chimp should have more rights than a ship or a company, right? At least animals have emotions and stuff, like they understand us, they hear us. They're not inanimate objects. And to any boats that are watching this video, well, I love you too. All right, so Mr. Wise told NBC News, I quote, a person is the law's way of saying that entity has the capacity for rights. A thing, which chimpanzees are now, don't have capacity for any kind of rights. To treat them as things destroys them. To give you some background info on who Mr. Wise is, he's the founder of the group called the Non-Human Rights Project and has fought for the rights of chimps since 2013. He also has a documentary on HBO that came out last year titled Unlocking the Cage and he used habeas corpus, which is the right to be brought before a court if in jail, to get his case in front of a judge. Tommy's previous owner, Patrick Lavery, kept him in a steel and cement cage in an upstate New York trailer with a TV for his entertainment. Lavery said this was his way of treating them more like humans, but he's still in a cage, so maybe more like a prisoner? When animal rights activists found Tommy in the cage, they asked Lavery to transfer him to a reputable animal sanctuary, which he declined to do. This would lead to the Non-Human Rights Project to launch a lawsuit claiming the chimp was being unlawfully detained, but the court would dismiss the suit on procedural grounds. In the documentary on HBO, Lavery tells Wise that Tommy is lonely and should live on a farm in Florida, a notion Wise would disagree with. According to the Daily Mail, Tommy was donated to the DeYoung Family Zoo in Michigan back in 2015. However, when the Daily Mail visited the zoo this year, they couldn't find Tommy, and the zoo owners Bud DeYoung and Kerry Kramer wouldn't answer questions about the chimp's well-being or whereabouts. Kind of seems suspicious if you ask me. Kiko is being kept by Carmen and Christy Presti in a Niagara Falls located primate sanctuary which the non-human rights projects claims is run out of their personal home and is not a suitable environment for apes. However, Wise made it clear him and his organization aren't accusing either party of breaking the law. He told NBC, I quote, what we're saying is those laws are grossly insufficient and the chimpanzees should have a right to bodily liberty. We're trying to protect their rights. Now according to the Daily Mail, Wise's last case arguing for chimpanzees Hercules and Leo, who were used for research at Stony Brook University in New York, ruled against his cause. However, since an Argentinian judge became the first in the world to grant a chimpanzee named Cecilia non-human legal person status. If Wise's case does turn out to be successful, he said he would like for Tommy and Kiko to live at Save the Chimps, which is a sanctuary in Florida. Now as always guys, should any more news of this come out, we'll be sure to update you. Wise is expected in court later this week, and as always, I want to know your thoughts, so drop me a comment down below about this story. But now I gotta respond to some of your comments. Yeah, yeah! We did a video about a 3,000 year old discovery found in Egypt, and Jason Mehedrad said, I am Charizard and I am ready to tell everyone. Alright, well I just told all of our fans, so there's a, you know, a good few thousand or a hundred thousand people or so. I don't know. Zen Man said, rename the channel to Amazing Discoveries. That's not a bad idea, but we do more than just discoveries. We talk about chimpanzees getting human rights, like in this video. We also talked about clowns for like a good month and a half. Remember when that whole clown thing happened, guys? IO covered it. Yep. Yeah, we did. And now time for that announcement. Unfortunately, guys, I'm not going to be sticking around at IO or IO Trends too much anymore. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! But be sure to check out my personal YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jared Bronstein, to connect with me, or on social media at Bron7. I may come back every now and then in a few videos here and there, but I will not be here every day, so I'm just letting you guys know that. I'm going to be working on my own personal channel, so be sure to subscribe to that. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys soon.